Where are we, Mark? Uh, I think we're still in Twin Ponds. The shoreline, that's one of the ponds. It's nice. We're in Twin Ponds Park, Shoreline, Washington, <laughs> on a uh, sunny April afternoon. Kind of chilly, but nice. Yeah. So, a short topic here. When you look at a truth functional sentence, how do you identify the main connective? Let's just do a little lesson on that. So let's remind ourselves that the main connective in a truth functional sentence is the connective of greatest scope. So I'll write a sentence. Uh, we'll start with a fairly simple sentence. Mm. We'll jazz it up a little bit. How's that? Okay. And so how do you go about identifying the main connective? And also, what type of sentence is it based on the main connective? Let's try those yeah, two we can things. say that the, the main connective, or the main operator, is going to tell us what kind of statement it is. And we can figure out the main operator by looking at uh, what kind of statement it is. Well, it's clearly circular. We need to do better than that. Uh, a precise way of doing it is the, the connective that has the largest scope wins. Size does indeed matter here. Um, we'll see, say, for this ampersand, its scope is going to be itself and the left side and the right side, the left conjunct and the right conjunct. So that would be, you know, sizable. This tilde, on the other hand, is affecting itself, as well as this entire conjunction it's next to. So its scope is even bigger. So, uh, so the scope of a connective is itself plus what it applies, it applies to, to, or what it affects. And what it, whether it's ranging over, yeah. What, what it it's ranging over. Okay. So this ampersand is affecting these two, yeah. and so that's its scope. So like this ampersand will affect itself plus the Z and the A. This tilde affects itself plus that. It's got a little larger scope. Yeah. This horseshoe affects the antecedent and the consequent. So that's its scope. So the scope of the horseshoe is from here to here. Yeah. So the scope of the horseshoe is given by the parentheses. Yeah, by the parentheses. Mm -hmm. This wedge, of course, has itself, it affects itself plus the left disjunct, which is this conditional, and the right disjunct, which is this big old uh, negation. So, so far, the wedge has the biggest scope. However, this tilde over here affects itself plus this entire statement inside the brackets, this entire disjunction. Because the tilde applies to all of that. Now, what makes you say the tilde applies to all of that? Well, the tilde is sitting right next to the bracket. So it's not sitting next to the H or the parenthesis. It's, in a sense, glued to the bracket. So it's negating this entire bracketed box, as I might call it. Mm -hmm. So you'll see the tilde here has the biggest scope. Again, size wins. This guy's got the biggest scope. So he wins. So He's the main a, operator, main connective. That's the main connective or main operator. And some logic books call the, uh, the tilde an operator, some call it a connective. Yeah, and, and both words work because the tilde connects to something. Yeah. The, connect, the tilde operates on something. So operator, connective, both make sense. Now, um, one thing to remember is that tilde always applies to what's ever to it, directly to the right of it. So, as Mark said, directly to the right of tilde is this bracket. And that's why tilde, he said, is glued to the bracket. It doesn't apply to the H, it applies to the bracket. And this bracket pairs with this bracket. And that's what tells us that the influence of this tilde is the whole bracketed expression, mainly the rest of the formula. So the main connective is tilde, and so what kind of a sentence is it? Yeah, that tells us the statement is a negation as a whole. Yeah. If this was the main operator, main connective, let's say that tilde wasn't there. I'll hold it, my hand over it. Then uh, if that was the main connective, this whole thing would be a big disjunction. Yeah. But the tilde is the main operator, so the thing's a negation. And we need to treat it like a negation. Anything we, anything that works on negations would work on this. Very good. Okay, uh, another? Try, try another one. How about this? Yes, triple bar A, horseshoe, tilde, M, wedge, not E. How's that? What's the main operator there? Okay. Well, I'm going to say that's the main operator, but the question would be why. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, this, this triple bar will have a scope, includes itself plus the left and the right side of that triple bar. Because it only affects these two parts. Only those two. Parts, yeah. This tilde here only affects the E. The thing is glued to, if you will, operating on the E. The wedge is only affecting the left disjunct and the right disjunct. Me meaning from here to here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This tilde certainly affects itself, plus the statement it's negating, 
this disjunction. So it, the tilt has a bigger scope than this, as you can see. And so, and 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 let me add, because tilde applies to to its immediate right, and its force goes right where it doesn't. It yeah. the 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 uh, the force of the tilde, the influence goes this way. So tilde applies to this, which pairs with this, which makes tilde's scope itself plus all of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then finally, we have the horseshoe. The antecedent is this entire unit, wrap in parentheses, so it affects the antecedent. It also affects the consequent, in this case the negation. And once again, the horseshoe has the biggest scope, that makes it the, the main connective. That's going to be absolutely critical in a lot of stuff that's going to happen in the next few days, is an understanding the main connective. It's really central to a lot of what happens in, in this logic. So what kind of sentence is it? This will be a conditional. Because an implication because the main connective is the horseshoe. Uh huh. And some textbooks will call it an implication. Some will call it a horseshoe or a conditional yeah. statement or a material conditional statement. Mm -hmm. uh, so the the horseshoe is an if-then operator. This is the if part. That's the then part. The, as Mark said, the antecedent, the consequent. Okay. Um, I'll give you a tricky one. Okay. All right. How about this? Okay. Now, some let me add something here. Some students, when they're first learning the language of this branch of logic, they wonder if this is well formed, if this is legal or allowable. We have a tilde applied to a tilde, and then this tilde is applied to a formula. Is that legal? It is indeed legal. It's grammatically correct. It may be an odd thing to say in English, but it's doable. It's kind of like a double negative. It's like saying, uh, it is false that Mark is wearing a black jacket. He's not wearing a black jacket. Yeah, so it is false that Mark is not wearing yeah. a black jacket. It's odd, but it works. Mm -hmm. okay. Someone says, you're unhappy, you're not happy, and I say, it's not true that I'm not happy. That's a double negative. Yeah. That's a negative applying to a negative. We do it all the time yeah. in English. and well. I don't know. We don't do it all the time, but it's allowable in English. Yeah. Okay. Right. So the, what's the main connective? For the main here? connective, this tilde is only affecting the E, so that's its scope. Yeah. This wedge is affecting itself plus the right disjunct and the left disjunct. That is the stuff inside the parentheses, so that's a little bigger scope. So the scope of the wedge starts here and yeah. goes to here. Yeah. So the parentheses give the scope of the wedge. Yeah. Okay. Now this tilde here is affecting itself plus the statement it's negating. In this case, it's negating this disjunction. So its scope ranges over that entire thing. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit bigger. However, this tilde is affecting itself plus this negation right there. So it has an even larger scope. So that's the main operator, the main connective. So this whole statement is one big negation, and that's the main connective of this big negation. So that's the main connective, not that, because it has the biggest scope, namely the scope that starts here and goes to here. So the operator that has the, main, has the greatest scope is always going to be the scope that includes the entire formula. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we name a formula by its main operator. So this is a negation. This is a if-then statement or a conditional statement. It's a negation. So do you think that'll, that'll do it? I think it'll work. We hope this helps.